Hello everyone, good morning. It's snowing in Utah again. Hope you're having a great day. And today I'm going to give an easy peasy crock pot recipe on how to cook chicken breast. And it's so easy, make your life simple. So let's get with it. So as you can tell, I've got my crock pot out. And then I love these things I was going to show. It is crock pot slow cook liners from um, Amazon. These are the best. And they fit really good. Better than the ones you buy at the grocery store. So we've got that in there. And now the first thing we're going to do is salt and pepper, the chicken, and I'm going to put the recipe down in the, uh, the description, so don't worry about that. So salt, pepper, give them a flip, and of course I did wash and pat dry the chicken before I put it on the platter. Okay, more salt. More pepper. And then we'll place this down in the lining. And trust me, these linings, it helps you so much with no cleanup. The crock pot, you'll just pick up the liner and then dump everything so your crock pot stays clean so i place all four of these in the crock pot so to give you a view what it looks like there you go I'll move this out of the way so the next thing i'll need let me get a spoon okay so I use two cans of chicken soup and one can of celery soup. I've already got it open, just opened it. And it's great value from Walmart's and it is a 10.5 ounce can. So what I do is I take it and I just spread it around a little bit. Come home, this smells so good. And you can um, put it on top of rice, on top of vegetables, because it also makes its own gravy. So I always use mashed potatoes, and I just put it on the mashed potatoes, and when you take it out, it just falls apart. So there's no hassle with cutting, you just dip it out, put it on the mashed potatoes, and there you go. It's gonna be an easy night tonight at my house. I love that. So, I wonder what you guys are doing today and how the weather is. My daughter called, and she was on I-15 going to work, and there had been several accidents. So, I'm really hoping whoever was in the accident that they're blessed and that they're okay. I did a little bit of Good Morning America. I really hope that uh, guy from Florida that was on the basketball uh, game, I'm not sure if you saw that, but he just went down head face on the basketball court and he had uh, just been playing with his team, did excellent, did some uh, baskets and made some scores. And then he just went down. So keep you keep him in, in your thoughts today. And for those of you that pray, please pray for him because he's in critical condition. Okay, so now we've got the chicken and we've got the soups. Remember, one celery, two chicken, salt and pepper, chicken breast. So all I do to make the gravy is I do a little bit over a half a can of water. So let me put water in this. Okay. 
pour it in. And again, be sure to do this because it makes the gravy. I just pour it all over the top and it just sinks to the bottom, of course. And the gravy's wonderful. So here's the other thing. If you decide you want potatoes, carrots, peas, be sure to add that. But for me with mashed potatoes tonight, it's just going to be this and I'm going to be making asparagus. So I'm not adding anything. Now, when you cook this, of course, make sure your crock pot's on. And if you put it on low, you cook it for four hours. If you cook it on, I'm sorry, if you cook it on low, it's six hours. If you put it on high, it's for four hours. So um, it's according to how your day goes. So again, let me repeat so I don't get you confused, as I always am. So um, again, on high for four hours, on low for six hours. And I'm going to try to figure out how to combine videos today. So that's my new project on YouTube, trying to figure out how to do the, uh, the editing process has been something else, especially again uh, for technology, but thank you goodness for all these young people and and the older people that are on YouTube and <clears throat> excuse me and they're te technology savvy so they have put videos out there that have just saved my life the good thing about the iPhone 12 that I just got there's just they've come such a long way and I didn't even know the feature was on there but if you decide to go into YouTube it's amazing because the iPhone 12, you can add, actually just slide it up and it says upload video. And so, yeah, so it goes to something called the YouTube studio and then, and then that's where you do some editing. But technology is just amazing. So thank you for uh, being with me today. I'm so glad you're joining my family. You've all been amazing. Stay in touch. Please like, comment, and definitely subscribe. It's helping helping my YouTube channel, and it really just makes me want to jump into this with, with both feet and not give up. And again, just anything to make your life simple. Yep, simple. And I admire all those young mothers with all the children working, God bless you. God bless you. So, again, thank you for everything, and I will see you later. Keep cooking, keep enjoying your life, and be kind to one another. Have a good day.